Hello everybody, welcome to the Daily Splat. Sorry for the hiatus, it's been uh, a little bit busy with me lately, uh, but I'm back now to uh, do a couple more of these. We'll see. Anyway, uh, first of all, this one is not about football. <laughs> I know the last few have been, uh, what with the preview and review series for the Premier League, but, uh, you know, people have been asking me, uh, people who watch this in real life, going, I stopped watching them because they were about football. But, well, that's yeah, stopped now. You know, the football series is done. I understand, you know, I've got... Uh, different people watch them for different things type of thing, so, you know, those of you who watch it for football stuff, you've been well and truly uh, serviced over the last few months, and uh, for at least the next little while I'm going to try and talk about other things, but of course if something amazing or interesting happens in the football, then it will come up. Anyway, so, uh, today I thought, uh, what can I talk about? Well, I could talk about one of the latest things which uh, has been entertaining me, and that is uh, for the PlayStation Vita, which I uh, talked about a couple of months ago, uh, the game Rayman Origins. Now, uh, fans of the Rayman series will know the platforming extravaganza uh, created by Ubisoft is a um, you know pretty good game. It's usually well received. Um, of course, Rayman, the armless, legless wonder with their little helicopter, is generally a quite charming character. And in this game, they've gone for a uh, they've gone away from the three D platforming uh, sort of thing that Rayman had become recently and gone back to a traditional sort of 2D animated thing and it's a great game it's a really really good fun game and I thought I'd uh, I'd you know pop it up and give you a, just a quick show of it so I've got the old uh, the old Vita here um which you know is starting to get a few more games released for it which you know are I think worth playing um which is fantastic uh, Rayman Origins being one of them um and it's the one that's sort of occupying my time at the moment. So, uh, here on the Vita screen, I'm just going to try and give you a quick demonstration. Uh, I'll try and zoom in a little bit. There's Rayman. Say hello, Rayman. Hello. There he is. So, uh, controls are pretty simple. Left analog stick for regular movement uh, to make him run. You hold down one of the shoulder buttons and then maneuver him in whichever direction you require him to go. It's quite difficult doing this backwards. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, it's pretty simple, jumping is X, striking opponents is square. Um, so, um, you know, it's it's pretty good. It's, you know, regular platforming fair. Yes, there he is. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, she needs rescuing. That's okay. Because I'm Rayman. I'm playing it backwards. It's not going well. Here we go. And as you can see, it's got uh, quite reactive environments. Uh, Rayman himself has... Fair few abilities, and it, I'll be honest, it's just good, fun, silly platforming. And very difficult to do, you can't see. And that was me getting killed, because I can't play it in reverse. Um, but there you go, it's it's pretty good fun. Um, you know, if you like little platforming games like, like Mario and, and things of that nature, or you're a fan of, of the Rayman series, then by all means, I would recommend this game, particularly as uh, it's been out for a couple of months. It's not just available on the Vita, it's also available on um, the consoles and and PC, as, you know, as a, as a regular game. And it's it's really good. Like, it's it's very high-quality um, image graphically. It looks really good, you know. The way the animations move is... It's, it's just great. It's just a lovely little fun game that, you know, can help pass a couple of boring train rides and that sort of thing. Um, so I'd strongly recommend it, particularly if you do own a Vita, because, you know, it's not um, got too many Flash games. Um, you know, the Drake's, uh, the Drake's, the Uncharted game that was released for it, uh, on you know, at launch, was actually a really good game. And um, that's sort of the only other standout title so far. I have played the FIFA football game on it, and that was... You know, it was all right. It's pretty impressive having it on the Vita, but at the same time, um, it's not <laughs> quite as good as playing it on the console. And uh, one other game I've picked up but not started yet, because, you know, they're having a sale, uh, Dragon Hunter Alliance, which I'll probably pop in and have a go in the next few days and let you know how that is. Uh, so there you go. Um, that will probably be it for today, except for one thing. Some of you may be wondering, Stephen... Where did you get this magnificent beard? Or, Stephen, why have you got that horrible beard? Well, both are legitimate questions, though, of course, I prefer 
first to the second. Uh, the reason for the bid is I'm appearing in a play. That's right, I'm appearing in another Shakespeare play. It is The Tempest. It's being run by the Revelers Theatre Company, and uh, we are going up in less than two weeks' time. Uh, this is one of many posters you may see dotted around places like Murdoch University and things like that. Uh, so it's The Tempest. It is running from the 21st of September until the 29th. Dates are 21st, 22nd, 27th, 28th and 29th of September. Two shows a day, uh, 6.30pm and 8.30pm. Tickets are only $10 and it's run at the Drama Workshop Theatre in Murdoch University, uh, South Street. For uh, tickets are only $10. Uh, inquiries, you can ring 0405-343-859 or you can book online. Just go to www.trybooking.com forward slash BQVU. That's uh, trybooking.com forward slash BQVU. Uh, yes, so come along and see that. I'm playing Alonzo. It should be good fun. Um, hopefully. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually going to be... Um, a really good play. I'm really enjoying seeing it come together as well, and uh, that's sort of what I'm going to be doing for the next week or so. Is uh, some fairly intensive rehearsals, which um, have been distracting me lately. Um, I might even do a couple of uh, you know daily spots just uh, backstage, maybe talk to some other people. So you know, there's you can look at somebody else's mug for a few minutes if you'd like. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, anyway, that is all for today, and I'll speak to you all soon. Until then. Bye-bye.